The swallows migrating to San Juan Capistrano, San Diegans and visitors alike started to swarm to their favorite spots throughout San Diego. A throng of 60,000 sun worshippers found their way to the beaches. At SeaWorld, more than 10,000 people toured the grounds. And SeaWorld says the three-day weekend should attract 25,000 people. At the zoo, long lines of cars stretching all the way back to Highway 163 caused a backlog of eager visitors. 20,000 people showed up today, and another 20,000 should arrive tomorrow. Did you think there was going to be a line here today? No. You're a little surprised at uh, how many people have come out here? I'm surprised because I thought it would be crowded tomorrow, not today. Uh, I didn't expect it at all. It's really strange. Oh, it's not too bad. It's going real quick. Yeah, how do you, how do you like San Diego so far? Uh, since it stopped raining, it's pretty nice. <laughs> as a typical tourist, I'm not a typical. As tourist. a typical tourist, Mr. Leitner, what do you think about waiting in lines here in San Diego? No, everybody told me the San Diego Zoo was terrific, but they didn't tell me how to wait in line for an hour and a half. Are you really anxious to get in there and look at all the bears and the bees and the birds? Sure, and... sure. Can you guys get me in for free? No, I'm sorry, we can't do that. Okay. <laughs> So, just a word to the wise, if you plan to visit some of San Diego's hot tourist areas tomorrow, go early. Jesse Macias, News 8, Balboa Park.